trademark application for Lexus LFR has been submitted for approval in Europe. Finally, Lexus is going to surprise us in the coming years with something extremely thrilling. Toyota has just filed trademark application for LFR and Lexus LFR. Hopefully Lexus will stick to their guns and not make the mistakes for it with the release of one of their models, to which I will get in a second. What I love about Lexus is that they have always kept their model naming very consistent. Two letters followed by a number and sometimes an H, designating if the vehicle uses hybrid powertrain. The last and only car with similar model designation to the LFR was the Lexus LFA and that was the pinnacle of automotive engineering. The look of it is just out of this world. The engine sound is even better. forget the Lexus overall quality. To summarize, the LFA is possibly one of the best sports cars ever made. And that may be a problem. But hopefully Lexus will not do what the film industry is doing now by releasing badly written remakes and sequels of older movies. I think we've had the similar problem in the car world though. What I'm talking about is one of the more recent remake from a big brand. Not the car itself, but mainly the use of model designation. And that is the Mustang Mach-E. The Mustang Mach-E powertrain is electric and that is perfectly fine. But what is not fine is the use of the Mustang name on a design that was changed from the original to a degree that was nowhere near what a Ford Mustang is or anyone would want it to be. I'm not going to use the word unattractive, but obese horses are far from ideal. Now back to the Japanese automaker. I believe in Lexus and mainly behind the brand ethos, the relentless pursuit of perfection. The design of the electrified concept car that debuted back in 2021 is just shockingly good. Then the specs, 435 miles of range and reaching 62 miles per hour in the low two seconds were equally intriguing. If the design department manages to meet all the safety regulations and get close to what is shown, the performance is what we have here and quality is what we expect from Lexus, people will be less frustrated from the lack of the glorious sounding V10 in the LFA. <laughs> The LFR is going to be something special, a car that will create euphoria amongst the car community, a showcase of the finest Japanese automotive craftsmanship. 